are watching a Fact TV presentation of the town of Swansea. Recording in progress. Yeah, Make the motion we approve the special meeting minutes of January 23rd. Second. Anything further on those? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Make the motion we approve the consent agenda. Second. Anything further, Michael? Uh, just included in the to be signed. Uh, we talked about assigning the. Um, Resolve. Yeah, the assessing contract from our former. Eminent to marriage up assessing, so I've included that in there just a simple assignment form. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm sealing it. Excuse me, gentlemen, I can't hear, hear you very far away. Which contract is for who? Assessing, general assessing. Okay, thank you. Item number four unsealing of non public meeting minutes. Those ones we initialed last week? Yes. Do you want a motion on that? Yes, please. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public input. Norm, were you going to mention something under public input? Is this the time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, I just wanted to. Uh, I'm here with Eileen from Law and Education Society, and uh, we had been uh, asked by a number of people um, if there was any way the Preservation Society would sponsor a candidates' night. And uh, as a nonprofit organization, or nonpartisan, that we said that you know we would be willing to do that because it's something people have wanted apparently for a long time. So we set a date for um, February 27th, and the uh, filing date for the, uh, all of the positions is the 12th. Mm -hmm. So after the 12th, what we're proposing, if you're in agreement with it, you think it's a good idea. The second. The second. second. This, second Friday. this Friday, pardon me, is we'll send an invitation out to all the candidates and invite them to come on the 27th and participate in a um, forum, which will be kind of like, also to bring a little bit of attention to our coffee connections and the you know work that the uh, SPS is doing with the Grange and so forth, and <clears throat> we would have we're promote, proposing to do like a roundtable discussion, primarily with the selectman candidates because there are so many, and uh, you know it's obviously it's an important position, but all the candidates would be invited to. The, the, there would be a limited amount of time because there are uh, like nine races and probably 15 candidates that they know about right now and that still know, you know, we do know so. We would like to do that upstairs, and we'd like to do that in the evening on the 27th of the Tuesday from 6 to 8. And I don't know if you have any feedback on that, if you think that's a good idea, but uh, we'd like to do that. Just is it open? Yes. Yeah, we checked the calendar. We're looking at uh, a number of categories of questions. We'd be very open to any input that either you two or Michael have. Um, you know, looking at some of the things that are going on in the community, community growth, infrastructure, uh, you know, housing, adequacy of housing, things like that. And, you know, we have some ideas that we've already put together. We're not going to put the questions out ahead of time, but it would be more conversational rather than candidates standing up, lined up in the front of the room, you know, asking each one what they thought. There just wouldn't be enough time. So we'd sit around the round table, very similar to what happened kind of organically at one of our uh, meetings this summer at the Coffee Connections, where we had a couple of people there that we knew were going to be candidates. And it just, they just started having a conversation. People joined in, and it really worked pretty well. So we'll try to recreate that to a degree. Great. All right. Thank you. I think it's a great idea. Thanks. It was all my leads. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you have Perfect. feedback, let me know. That sounds good. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Consideration of new business. Requested extension of solar pilot agreement. For map 232 lot 20, this is down behind the Secord's building. So that's this is the this is the second extension because they're still waiting for uh, Eversource. That sounds like they're making progress, but they're not going to be generating power by February or March, whenever the deadline was. So we we're asking for hopefully one last extension on that. Uh, yes, please. Make a motion that we approve the extension request. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
February meeting schedule. So next week looks like the uh, looks like the weather's clear. So hopefully we'll be on for Tuesday for deliberative session. So we'll have a brief board meeting at six to um, handle anything on the light agenda, and then deliberative session at seven. And then I'm suggesting we meet on the 14th in case there's anything we need to finalize after deliberative or change any recommendations for the town report, and then a meeting on the 28th. We also have on the on the 14th uh, public hearing regarding the possible grant on the West Swansea Water Company project. That works for you, Bill. Yeah. Sounds good. New old business? Um, I don't know if it's new or old, but um, I just got my last couple of phone calls out of the way this afternoon, so I have a proposed slate for the fire chief screening panel um, in front of the board. So I'm <coughs> suggesting uh, Deb Davis. Bruce Bohannon, Ron, Leslie, Mark Houghton, and Seth McLean. So combination of uh, fire professionals, current or retired, uh, a couple of residents, and then a kind of administrative person from a, another community. So that's on mode, finally. Mm -hmm. and we have uh, 11 applications, so nice. pretty good, pretty good spread. Non-public sessions. I do not feel like I have. Oh, do we want to talk about uh, any prep or anything for deliberative, or do you want to divide out who's making the, I know it's only the two of you, but making and seconding the motions or speaking to any of the articles that, that require it? <coughs> we should do a little uh, send off for Ken, too. Well, mm -hmm. Put something together. Got to got to get drafting it for the town report as well. But um, can think about think about who wants to do that. But sure. I think it'll come together organically. Yeah, seems to work that way. <laughs> Very good. I think that was all I had. When, when do you expect the the committee to meet? I'm hoping to have the next meeting next Monday. You've already had a meeting? Next Monday. I'm hoping oh. to have next Monday. Okay. Do you, do you think it would be helpful for them if they had a sense of what it is we're, we're definitely going after in terms of what our vision or expectations are of the, of the fire department? We could meet one the first. Sure. We could do that. That'd be great. Do we... Do you have any more thoughts with regard to full time or part time? No, just where we have to, you know. I think everybody should be on the way. Okay. Um, right, so we would meet with them prior to what one of the meetings? Uh, I was looking at Monday at two. It would be reviewing the applications would be a non-public session, but depending on the nature of the discussion beforehand, might be public or not. I think if, if we're going to get into a discussion with with regard to the department and what the expectations are, that should be public. Correct. Okay. Right. There wouldn't be any personnel issues at that point.